Let's try to do this right. No gunshots, no dead bodies. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence first teamed up in 1995 for the action comedy Bad Boys. It was a modest box office hit. It took eight years before Bad Boys 2 hit theaters in 2003. Well, the wait is over. If you're a fan of this franchise, Bad Boys 3 opening in theaters this weekend, and does it get more bad or boy than Rusty <laughs> gave me? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty now. much. So uh, January is considered kind of the bad time for movies. Mm -hmm. You know, if you didn't come out during the holiday season or summer or fall, January is where they kind of dump the... Yeah. Stinkers. Ooh. So I was fully expecting this one not to be very good. Okay. Uh, so far, the two have made four hundred fourteen million dollars worldwide, which isn't bad. Mm -hmm. No, it's not great. It's, it's <laughs> the other ones good. are making a billion. You know, the I other guess. franchises. Sure. But anyway, so this time around, it's a story we've heard many times before in cop buddy movies. One cop is wanting to retire because, but he can't because he's dragged into a deadly situation. In this case, someone's trying to kill Will Smith's character, Mike Lowry, and he needs his boy. Marcus Burnett, once again played by Martin Lawrence. In these streets, I never trusted anybody but me. I'm asking you, man. Bad boys. One last time. One last time. I'm the definition of half man, half drugs. Ask the clubs. Bad boy, that's what's up. He tried to do them all. We're not just black, we're cops too. We'll pull ourselves over later. <laughs> All right, so if you go see this, which I, I was surprised, it actually is a pretty good movie. That scene's not in the movie. That's from the movie trailer. Oh, and it's not in and the It's not in the I actual hate film. That. But anyway, uh, yeah, the action is not quite to the John Wick level, okay. but there are some fun action sequences. So the best part are these two guys together. It still does work. Whenever they're together, together having fun, it's a good time for these bad yeah. boys. Uh, not as funny as I thought it was going to be, hmm. mainly more of an action thing, okay. but uh, stick around. There are extra clips at the end. They totally set it up for Bad Boys 4. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I thought this was one yeah. last time. <laughs> well, one I know. Last they time. always uh, So I really missed you guys last week. I know we missed you, too. Where were you? I was in Hollywood of hanging course. out with the beautiful people at the mm. Critics' Choice Awards. I brought some photos. Oh, cool. So next to us, two tables over, Charlize Theron, oh speaking of pretty. And then, and then J-Lo is on the other side. And so during the commercial breaks, you get to kind of get up and mingle. My wife, proving she has a thing for older men, Ted Danson. <laughs> She's nice. a big fan of The Good Place. Best photo of the night. <laughs> Me and Adam Sandler. You gotta wake up. I went back to the table and I said, uh, did you see this photo? Yeah. <laughs> what? That's perfect. That'll yeah. be my uh, Christmas card. It's, so your new profile pic. Yes, that's yeah. right. So the Critics' Choice, uh, they actually tie in pretty close to the Academy Awards, which, of course, the next day, those nominations came right. out. So we'll see how and well. You're a voter for the Critics' Choice I am Choice a Award. voter. I'm a member of the Broadcast Film Critics Association. No, I crashed the party. Well, <laughs> I just so, it's so the people know what's going on. And were you happy with the with the winners? I think so. I, yeah. I, I, I was surprised that 1917 didn't actually uh, get more uh, yeah. acknowledgement. Right. But uh, you got Quentin Tarantino getting a lot of love. So yeah. we'll see. Okay. All right, Rusty, thank you. Riley, we're going to toss it.